And DeSantis appears to be shrugging off the high-tech fiasco and moving on today to low-tech retail politics, meeting voters face-to-face. -face. For more on that, let's go to News Nation's Washington correspondent, Kelly Meyer. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Elizabeth, that's right. Governor DeSantis wrapping up his events here in Florida and getting ready to hit the campaign trail. First to those early voting states of Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, getting ready to get those votes from Republicans, not only them, but independents as well, saying that he has a better chance of winning them over than former President Donald Trump. Ron DeSantis ready to run. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. Just hours after rolling out his presidential bid, the Florida governor is laying out his plan to barnstorm key states, kicking off next week in Iowa with a campaign event in Des Moines, beginning a four-day, 12-city stretch in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. Early nominating states that, if successful, could put DeSantis on a path to taking on former President Donald Trump. It's very important to South Carolina on the Republican side. From all the political experts I've spoken with here, I've only been here for about six years. Everyone who's been here longer than me says that if you win South Carolina on the GOP side in the primary, you usually have a good chance at winning the nomination. The DeSantis campaign doing it the old-fashioned way, betting on retail politics to reach voters where they're at meeting them at barbecues or breweries, shaking hands or holding babies, betting this strategy will push him to the finish line in places like Iowa. Probably for DeSantis, it may end up being Iowa or a bust, and then that might be too dramatic, but Trump has such a foothold here, and if you look at the early polls, it's just dominant how much of the potential caucus electorate he might get. Iowa, known as the first in the nation caucus state, and it's the first time Americans will hear from Republican voters in the nominating process. How DeSantis fares in places like Iowa could put him on the map for the next nominating contest. Today's polling out of Iowa showing Trump still leading with voters over DeSantis 62 to 20. We had a poll today, 71 to 16. And I guess the Fox poll was good. They're all good. I mean, the polls are very nice. Today, DeSantis saying Trump's constant trolling is a good sign for him. I think a lot of what he's doing is showing uh, everybody that, that he understands that um, I've got a good chance to beat him because he doesn't criticize anybody else now. It's only me. Now, Governor DeSantis inside this Four Seasons Hotel here in Miami meeting with donors. The campaign hoping to bring in millions in commitments that will surely help as he hits the campaign trail in the coming days. Elizabeth. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.